Hey, what's up guys? Alex here with a new video, and today's a different one. Today we're doing a video response to Fro Knows Photo saying I'm not a real photographer and that I look like a moron the way I use my camera. So let's kick things off. And like I do with all my videos, I'll be putting up images. In this video, I'll just be putting up a series of random images that I've taken throughout my six, seven years I've taken as a photographer. All of them have been edited with my preset, so if you like the colors, you can check them out in the link down below. But why did Jared Poland say I wasn't a real photographer, and why did he say I looked like a moron the way I use my camera? Before we get to that, I gotta say this. I've been following uh, Frodo's photo since the very beginning. I think he's a phenomenal YouTuber, entertainer. I still respect the crap out of him, even though he didn't have the nicest things to say about me. With that said, let's kick things off. Let me play the audio clip of Jared Polin, what he said, so we don't mix words here, and then we will talk about why he said that. So let me let me roll the clip. This camera also does have an incredible viewfinder. I just told you, I don't use the viewfinder. I've used it a few times, it looks great. It's just not my style. I, I can't get used to this. I just shoot like this. Again, it's all preference, but I won't get too into detail as far as how great this viewfinder is because I just really haven't used it. That That is one of the dumbest statements I've ever heard, Stephen. Um, the fact that the fastest way he says to, to do the focusing is to touch it, that is just, you're using a $6,000 camera and I'm gonna plant a flag on this hill and I will continue to plant a flag on the hill that if you're a real photographer, you're going to look through the electronic viewfinder 99.9% .9 of the time. And yes, there's those occasions where you hold it above your head or you hold it lower. Weird angles, yeah. But the fact that he sits here and says that he uses the touch screen to touch the focus point, and that's the fastest way to move the focusing point. No, but Wait to a say that... Focus. Don't don't yell at me in the comments. I like to shoot like this with holding the camera out in front of you. Like I get it. To each their own. Sure. But if you want, but you can say to each their own. But I'm still gonna sit here and defend the fact that you should be looking through the viewfinder because as soon as you hold it out in front of you and you have to touch the screen to focus, guess what? You're losing balance. You're not getting your line straight. You're not nice and stable. You look like a moron when you're shooting because you don't look professional. You don't look like a professional photographer. Now I don't know this person. Person. I'm just calling out this style of shooting and he just so happened to be the one who made a video that says that so I'm just pointing out the fact that as a if you own an R3 you should not be listening to this person and holding it out in front of you and shooting that way okay you heard it so he actually said those things about me regarding my previous video which is the Canon R3 first impressions in that video I mentioned two things that really seem to bother him one I don't use the viewfinder when I take photos, I use the back of the screen, and that's how I like to use my camera. This is just the way I've been taking photos since the very beginning. We'll get to that in a second. <laughs> and the second thing was, I mentioned that the fastest way to change an autofocusing point on these newer cameras, including the R3, was by touching the screen. So let's address the first one. Essentially, Jared Pollan is saying, the way you hold your camera makes you a professional which is the dumbest thing I've ever heard because, and I don't usually brag about this, and let me just kind of talk some stats. I've been doing photography for six years. I've shot over a hundred weddings. All my weddings come with engagement sessions, which means I've shot over a hundred engagement sessions. I've shot a ton of maternity and family sessions. If we were to combine those, I could easily say over a hundred. So I've shot a lot of work and I've made a lot of money. My average wedding before I retired was $2,500, and I was doing around 25 weddings a year. You do the math on just weddings alone. And throughout my career as a wedding photographer, family photographer, any photographer, no one has ever questioned me on how I use my camera. In a wedding, in a session, the couples have all loved their photos and the end result. And I can tell you this, they don't give a damn about how I use the camera and if I'm touching my screen or not. It makes no difference if you put the camera to your eye or you hold it in front of you, you're gonna take the same picture. 
So this idea that you have to hold the camera a certain way, you have to use a viewfinder to be a professional, is just so wrong. It's archaic. Things have changed. We're no longer in the days of the DSLR where you had to view through the viewfinder. Your viewfinder and your screen is the exact same thing. There is no benefit, at least in the wedding industry, family industry, maternity industry, on using a viewfinder. Now, Jared Pollan does shoot a lot of sports, and he does mention in his podcast that by using the camera and holding it out in front of you, you're losing kind of the three-point system as far as stability goes. This is true, but if we were to look at the people out there shooting with 400 2.8s or 300 2.8 lenses, that majority is very, very slim. The majority of photographers are doing product photography, wedding photography, any type of photography where you're not using a massive lens that you need to be extremely stable. So is he right about kind of holding the camera to your eye and being stable with a long lens? Absolutely, if you're a sports photographer. The reality comes down to this. It doesn't matter how you hold your camera, how you use your camera, as long as you're getting results. I will also say this. A massive influence in my career has been Sam Hurd. I think he's one of the best, most creative photographers out there right now. Sam Hurd shoots, I don't even know how many weddings a year. He's always shooting a wedding every weekend. One of the busiest photographers out there. And you know how he holds his camera? And do you know how he shoots? Like this. And let me tell you, Sam Hurd has a massive following on Patreon. He's got a massive following on every platform in the world. He's one of the most popular photographers. And I don't think we can say he's not a professional because he doesn't use his viewfinder during a wedding day. That's absurd. So again, I, I, I kind of see where Jared Pollan's coming from as far as the sports world, but come on, dude. You know, it doesn't matter how you hold your camera. Everybody has their preference. You gotta start thinking a little bit outside of the box. The second one, I'm not sure if he called me a moron on this one, I think he did, but he, I, I mentioned in the R3 that to me, the fastest way to change focusing is by touching the screen. And that does sound a little crazy. So let's talk about it. I always use IAF and AFC, and I rarely have to change my focusing point, which means I rarely use the joystick in the back or any type of way to manipulate the focusing because the camera is 99% of the time gonna get focusing where I want it to. On its own, these cameras are incredible. But when you're in a wedding day and you're shooting a large group of people, the camera will pick up everybody's face. So if I'm shooting the bride and her bridal party, we're gonna have five to seven faces and the camera will pick up all five to seven faces. Sometimes the camera will pick up the face closest to the right and they'll nail focus there. And you'll have boxes in every single face. And with the joystick, you can go left or right to change which face you wanna focus on. Now, if you have five or seven people, depending where that focusing is, you might have to move it a few times to the left or a few times to the right. That's not the fastest way to do it. The fastest way to do it is just touching the dang screen on the bride's face and you're there. So again, Jared Poland has a point, you know, if you're shooting sports, you shouldn't have to change your focusing point. IAF, subject detection should get it. But again, not everyone is shooting sports, dude, right? There's different industries out there. And in the wedding industry, when you're picking up tons of faces, sometimes it is faster to just touch the face. And this is a situation where I think everybody has to be very careful on who you listen to on YouTube, social media, because Everybody's sharing their opinion on photography based on what they're shooting. The majority of YouTubers now are YouTubers. They're not necessarily shooting real photography anymore. They're more entertainers than they are photographers. They'll review a camera, they'll have it for a weekend, they'll have it for a month, they'll shoot a model or two, and that's what they kind of base their judgment on. Jerry Pollan will take a camera to a concert, to a sports game, does a review, does good content, but again, it doesn't apply to every single photographer. So be careful who you listen to. I think if you're in the wedding industry, listen to reviews and opinions on people who are in that industry. They'll encounter those quirks that you're gonna encounter while shooting a wedding. If you're a product photographer, 
check out a ton of product photography reviews. Like everybody has a niche. And I think it's important that we always realize who are we listening to and whose opinion are we listening to? For me, like I said, the person that's had the most influence on my photography career has been Sam Hurt. I was a wedding photographer, portrait photographer. Sam Hurd is a wedding photographer, portrait photographer. I take his opinion to the highest regards because I know he's shooting weddings every single weekend. When he finds a quirk or something he doesn't like, it's because he's used a camera for 12 hours in one day and he's kind of been through it all. So in the end, I still respect the hell out of Jared Pullen, even though he called me a moron, not a real photographer, not a professional. It's all for entertainment, so still gonna be a loyal subscriber, still gonna watch his content, but I wanted to put this video out there because I think it was very important to share my perspective here because I just do not agree with Jared Pullen's opinion on this one, besides the insults. So guys, what do you think? I've put up a ton of my work. Is it not professional because I didn't use the viewfinder? <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. As always, please like this video, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one, guys. Peace.